Welcome back guys, this is Mark with The Syndicate bringing you another tutorial on how to install the Arma 3 Epoch mod launcher that AWOL posted in the forums just a few days ago. But before I get into that, I just wanted to go over something that's important. Now if you've had a chance to play the Epoch mod or maybe seen some of the footage from YouTube or some of the Twitch streams, you know that the Epoch development team has put a lot of effort into this mod and they can really use your support. Now you can always show your patronage to their supporters. Um, or you can uh, make a donation, but where they could really use your support right now is the dev team taking part in the Make Arma Not War contest. You just simply have to go to MakeArmaNotWar.com and what this contest is going to do for them is it gives them the tools that they need to really help Epoch reach its full potential. It doesn't cost you anything, so it can take a minute of your time, a couple clicks and you're done and they have your support. Now if you scroll down a little bit, you'll probably see them right here on the first page, but if not, just go to Total Modification and click Browse and that's going to pull up everything under that category and just scroll down until you find Epoch and click on that and there's going to be a yellow support button here you go and click on that and it's going to give you a couple of different ways to log in you can always use your Bohemia Interactive account your Facebook, Twitter, Steam or if you don't want to provide those credentials you can simply create a Make Arma Not War account and then give them your support that way and that'll definitely help out the, uh, the team and help Epoch reach the potential we know it can uh, but now that we got that out of the way uh, going back to the launcher you just point your browser at epochmod.com and click on forum and announcements right there under the Arma 3 Epoch Mod and you're going to see it should be the fourth one down, it's going to be the Epoch Launcher Test the file's right here, now keep in mind this is still in the test phase so uh, you may experience some bugs but from my experience I didn't have any issues and it worked perfectly and it's pretty straightforward so just click on that and you're going to get a zip file all you have to do is open that zip file once it's downloaded. I use WinRAR here. There we go. And then I just copy uh, copy that over into my downloads. Open the folder. You see there's three files here. Uh, one folder and two files. I click on Setup and Run. Install. I'm going to give you this uh, pop-up. Go and click on Install. And there we go. We got Epoch uh, Launcher installed here for us. Perfect. Just close these out real quick. All right. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go over to the settings. There we go. All right. And what you're going to want to do is right here where it says max download, go ahead and change that to zero. Uh, for your upload, it's limited to 50k. Now you can increase that if you do want to help others download the file and see. That would definitely be helpful, but again, that's completely up to you. And this is where it's going to save the files. Now me personally, I have another folder I have dedicated specifically for this. There we go. Alrighty, and there it is. Perfect. Go and close that. And all you have to do is just click the download button. It's going to take just a second. It's going to ask you for access. Go and click allow access. And then you're going to see the download button turns blue. It's going to let you know that it's downloading the file. Now, as of today, the current version is 0.1.0.1 that was just released. And it may, depending on your connection, take 30 minutes to an hour to download. So we're going to give it just a few minutes to go ahead and do that. Alright, perfect. There we go. We got the file completely downloaded. Now, once the bar fills up completely green and says seeding, that means you do have the file completely downloaded and it's showing me we have the latest version right here. And the only thing we have to do, pretty simple, just click the install button. The button's going to turn blue, let you know that it's working. First thing you're going to do is it's going to shut down the torrent. Next step, it's going to verify whether or not you already have the mod installed. Now, if you already have an older version of Epoch, it's automatically going to detect that. It's going to back up that folder and then it's going to install the uh, the new version into that folder. Um, but since this is a new clean install, it's going to say mod not found, continuing. It's going to go ahead and create the, the directory in the Arma 3 folder and go ahead and copy the file all the way over. We'll give it just a second to do that. And there we go. Installation completed. Perfect. We now have the uh, mod ready to go. The only thing we have to do is click the play button. And I'm going to go ahead and show you here how to get actually on an Epoch server. Uh, 
Alrighty. Awesome, there we go. Got everything loaded here. Now the really cool thing about the launcher is that because it already has all the parameters built in, it'll automatically activate the mod for you. So even if you just have Armor 3 and you typically play other things like King of the Hill and so forth, you don't have to go in every single time and switch uh, the option for the mod to turn on and off. If you just use the launcher, it's going to do it for you. So, that's pretty awesome. Uh, but the last thing I was just going to show you here is in terms of connecting to a server, pretty simple. Uh, click play in multiplayer. You don't need a specific IP of any of uh, any of the mods. You just go to your filter um, and under host, uh, or for some people it's mission, depending, but uh, I usually just type it in uh, host just epoch. Click OK. It'll take just a second. It'll refresh everything. And then uh, little by little you'll see all of the um, servers come online. Now, they just recently added some new servers from the OC networks. I believe they are live now. Uh, for all of our Australian players that will be able to get on and get a much better ping and not have that issue. So, again, if uh, you need to connect to any of the servers, just go ahead and click on Filter, type in Epoch, and it's automatically going to bring up all the servers that are available uh, at that time. But other than that, uh, see you in game. Take care.